One way to maximize our efforts is through fasting. The wives of the Prophet ﷺ told us that he used to fast the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah. Specifically, the day of Arafah, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, this is the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, was a removal of sins for the year past and the year to come. So we should all try our best to mark that day on our calendars and fast that day so it can maximize our rewards. How do you know you love someone? One of the signs is that you can't stop thinking about them and talking about them. This is what the Messenger of Allah وسلم, told us to do in these couple of days when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember him more, talk about him more. And how did he tell us to do that? He وسلم, taught us to say La ilaha illallah. There is absolutely nothing worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A deeper meaning is there's absolutely nothing worthy of obedience and love other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He also taught us in these 10 days to increase our saying of Allahu Akbar, which means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater. And there is a missing portion over here. Greater than what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than any difficulty that we're going through in our lives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than all things. Every single thing we can think of, He is greater than that. And He also, sallallahu alayhi wa encouraged us to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying Alhamdulillah, which means all praise and thanks is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's not a single blessing that we benefit from except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it to us from His mercy and we thank Him by saying Alhamdulillah. The Prophet wasallam and the companions made it a habit that they would say these words throughout the year, but specifically in these 10 days, they would try and say it in their homes, in the masajid and in the streets. Another great thing is to give in charity. For those of us who haven't fulfilled our obligation of zakah, do it in these 10 days. And beyond that, sadaqah to family members and to members of our community, people who we know are in need, and to the poor and the homeless. Another good deed we can do in these 10 days is to spend time with our family members. And not just spend time, but to spend quality time with them. A lot of times in the hustle and bustle of life, we end up just going from work to school to home, and we really don't get to spend that quality time with our family members. In these 10 days, especially Eid, make sure we're able to sit down with every one of our loved ones and really spend some good quality time and have some fun with them as well. Another thing that we should really try to do in these 10 days with our family members is to volunteer in the community, go out in the masjid, go out and help in different kind of activities and community service projects where the entire family can get involved and be able to earn the happiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by serving other people. Also, we should take care of any grudges that we have. If we have this feeling in our heart, a grudge against any family member, co-worker, friends, we should in these last 10 days make a resolution that I am going to reach out to these people. I am going to forgive this person and it will give us more peace and solace in our own hearts.